Ladies and gentlemen, many people out there think that Johnny K, you know, he, he's, he just he knows everything. He's, he's very, very intellectual, very clever, very sharp. Well, I appreciate all those compliments. But the truth is, ladies and gentlemen, even I don't know everything. That's right. I, I know. That don't look so shocked. It's true. None of us know everything. We all learn new things each and every single time. Some people might go a while knowing what they know and one day, boof, they just find out something that they, they never knew before. This happens with everyone and by God, it's happened with me. Ladies and gentlemen, for so long, I used to blast people that irritated me, that were complete douchebags, that were complete fucking idiots, just moronic fucking cockheads. But ladies and gentlemen, and I must say that this uh, thing that I used to do, blast people, didn't get me pretty much nowhere. Nowhere at all, actually. Uh, all it did was get me into a bit of strife with them, and we had a back and forth uh, argument going on, like we were both in fucking primary school, and, you know, he just brought me down to his goddamn motherfucking uh, lack of maturity level. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, this Midnight Podcast Edition is going to be about something so fucking awesome. I'm going to teach a very good tactic, a very good skill, a very good thing to you all, and it's to do with how to get rid of a fuckhead, uh, you know, like, instead of just, you know, saying the traditional fuck off. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is actually really easy, and all you have to do, all you have to do is be extremely diplomatic. Now, I know what you're going to say. You're going to say, Johnny K, I don't want to be diplomatic. I am I am real as they come. If I have something to say, I'll say it. Hey, I'm the same. Hell, I've always been like that, and I still am. Sure, I'm going to go around. Hell, I'll put a billboard up and, and, and inform people of how much of a fucking dickhead he is, but I'm just not going to go and say it to him, or I'm not going to go and say it to her. Or to anyone. Why should I? Why should I go and start a fight with them? If someone's waving a broken glass bottle around and he wants to go the entire fucking neighborhood, are you going to go break a glass bottle and go up there and try and go him as well? Are you going to try and have a a one-on-one Mortal Kombat fight with him with a broken glass bottle? Uh, Winner takes all, including their fucking head? No. No. So why am I going to go up to the person and get myself in that type of situation? Ladies and gentlemen, I saw an amazing saying. I saw an amazing saying, and I, as soon as I saw this saying, okay, I had to save it, okay, on my hard drive, and I, I reflect back on it every single day, and I'm going to post it up in the next couple of nights. This thing that I saw, by far, by far, opened up my goddamn motherfucking eyes. And I tell you, man, I am never, ever going to bother arguing with fuckheads and, you know, letting people know what they did wrong. If they don't know what they did wrong, then they are fucking stupid, okay? And they'll get nowhere in life, trust me. Ladies and gentlemen, The saying is, this is how it goes. Remember this saying. Tact is the ability to tell someone to go to hell in such a way that they look forward to the trip. Ladies and gentlemen, what that means is don't even tell them to go to hell. Don't tell them to fuck off. Distance yourself from them. Don't get back to their messages nine times out of ten. Don't even bother making any sort of effort to plan something with them. Avoid the person at all costs. 
And then when they turn around one day, because they've been sus for a little while, and they say, well, you know what, man, you're ignoring my texts, you're not getting back to me, you know, when I leave you voicemails, you're not replying to me on Facebook, which is a real common one, because people love to use Facebook, because they don't have mobile phones anymore. Oh, wait, they do, they just don't use them. If you bar the person, he gets whiff of it, and you know what? He's had enough, and he has a go at you. He has a go at you. He really fucking lets you have it. Well, he's just gone to hell, hasn't he? He's gone to hell with a fucking smile, because he reckons that fucking he won, when really you won, because you fucked him off a year ago, and he didn't even realize. Ladies and gentlemen, the best fucking saying that I've ever seen, one of the best, is that one. I honestly can't think of a better one. Tact is the ability to tell someone to go to hell in such a way that they look forward to the trip. That, that, that's just amazing. Absolutely amazing. You know, uh, you, could, you could save a lot of money because not even a goddamn fucking psychologist would tell you this. So you've already saved a lot of money. If you've, if you've just heard this saying... Okay, and once I put it up in the next couple of nights, when all of you guys see this saying, okay, save it, store it, look at it on your phone every time you get upset with somebody. That's all the fucking therapy you need. That's all the fucking therapy you need. Ladies and gentlemen, you can't get through to an ignorant fucking person. I know a couple of people that uh, never get stressed out, never worry. They can be in a room with an ignorant person, so annoying, and the other person, you know, these guys I know, they wouldn't care. It doesn't even phase them. And, you know, I could be in a room with an ignorant person and I'll lose my shit. And, you know, you know why it doesn't phase that other person? It's not because he's got great anger management skills. It's not because, you know, he, he, he just is very... He's very um, down to earth and very calm and collected. It's none of that. It's because he's ignorant as well. An ignorant person and another ignorant person will never bother each other. They will not bother each other. They'll be best friends. They'll agree to disagree with each other's bullshit. Sometimes they'll even agree to agree with each other's bullshit. Sometimes they'll disagree to disagree with somebody else's fucking bullshit. They don't argue. An ignorant person, an ignorant person don't argue. Just like how a uh, sophisticated person and another sophisticated person don't argue. They're going to have a very, very healthy discussion. Eh, debate, if you call it. Uh, you know, and that's that. They don't sit there and raise their voice like an ignorant person does. They don't sit there and throw cheap insults like an ignorant person would do. They do none of that. Ignorant, go with ignorant. And sophisticated and clever, go with sophisticated and clever. I am sophisticated and clever. So, that's why when I'm in a room and people say to me, this is the, the thing that really, really fucking, you know, makes my blood boil. Oh, you got to relax, Johnny K. Relax, Johnny. Re relax, man. John, calm down. Why the fuck you telling me to calm down? I'm in the right, and you're telling me to calm down. Oh, I, I must be crazy. I must be losing my shit, yeah? Oh, shit, man. I've got anger issues. I should, I should talk to somebody, yeah? Yeah, I should talk to someone. Why? Because I'm right. And, but because I say it in a certain way, because ignorant people really drive me up the fucking wall... It's my fault for reacting. I'm the one that looks bad. It's it, Everything is on me. He's the crazy one. Don't pay any attention to Johnny K. And that's what really shits me. When people tell me to relax. I've got a couple people that tell me to relax. And by God, they're the most down-to-earth people you can find. But they're so fucking ignorant. And it's okay to be ignorant because it's your life. And you can be as ignorant as you fucking want to be. But when you turn around and condescend other people and tell them to relax, oh, mate. Anyway, 
that's a small price to pay when you know a couple of people that are like that because you got to weigh the positives and the negatives and uh, a lot of positives outweigh all the negatives that they could have. You know, we, we weigh them up and a lot of the times uh, there's a, a tremendous amount of positives. So you... I guess, learn to deal with the negatives. But it really drives me up the wall. I don't like it when people tell me to relax. I don't like the word relax. You know, I hate it. Because you're telling someone to calm his shit. But he's got he's got a reason why he's upset. He's got a reason why he's emotional and he, he's just, you know, really cracked it. You don't, you don't, you don't tell someone to relax when he's got a right to be angry, or a right to be upset, or a right to be pissed, you don't tell that person to relax, you know, I get told to relax a lot, uh, and I lash out, and I fucking, you know what man, I don't lash out anymore, nope, I stopped, last night, I had my last vent at someone, I analed the fuck out of him with a 10 plus inch dildo, and after that I stopped, because, uh, look, man, yeah, today's day one of a fucking uh, infinity. Because I tell you what, man, I'm never going to give a shit about putting people in their place again. Let them fucking say whatever they want, do whatever they want. People talk shit about them behind their back, and so they should, and so will I. Okay, uh, I used to think uh, that you have to tell people what you think of them. Just in the last couple editions, I made a video where, you know... Uh, we should tell people what we think. You know, I, I, I said I hated diplomacy. Hell. You know, I did say we need it. I, di- I was perfectly aware that we needed it. Okay, and I mentioned how there'd be a million more fucking wars in this world if we didn't have diplomacy. But I also said you should be up front. Nine times out of ten, be up front. More like nine times out of ten, you should be diplomatic. It's different if someone, you know, taps your sister on the ass. Or if someone, you know, Jesus Christ, goes as far as to sleep with your wife. Or, you know, if someone, you know, uh, steals from you and you catch them. You catch them stealing from you. Uh, Then you have a legitimate gripe. (laughs) Jesus, that goes without saying. You know, but nine times out of ten, over little fucking things, and these little things can be quite, you know, they can be quite devastating. You know, a lot of people say you've got to slap a person around for him to really have done something to you. Like, you know, they've got to really slap you around. You know, but really, all it takes is a couple of just words to really fucking offend someone to the point where, you know, even if they've known you a good, you know, six, seven years, it's like, okay, well, whatever, man. You know, they've, they've sent you to hell. And remember, in a tactful way, so that you look forward to the trip. Ladies and gentlemen, see, I've learned something today. We all learn something each and every day, I reckon. I reckon every day we learn something new. In the back of our minds, we just don't realize it. We learn stuff every day, man. We never stop learning. Okay, Mel Gibson one of the greatest actors of all time. He even said every day he doesn't stop learning. He learns something new. Ladies and gentlemen, if you have an ego, I suggest, well, I suggest you don't have one at all, but I was going to say tone it down a tremendous amount. It's good to have a healthy ego, but when you have a very bad ego, that that's not the good ego you want to have. Okay, we all need a little bit of ego, uh, pride, if you will. You know, a little bit of pride. I guess that's the right way of saying it, you know, in a good term. Ego, honestly, e- ego. Ego, in Greek, ego means ego, ego, e- ego. You know what ego means? Me, 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 that's all I care about, ego, 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 ego. Ego is me, 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 me. You think you're always fucking right. Well, guess what, Jack? You're wrong most of the time. And just because people look at you and smile and nod their fucking head at you and, you know, you think they just agree with you and then when you turn around the block, you know, and you leave, they turn around to their mates, they roll their eyes and they'll go, what a dumb fuck. What a, what a dickhead. You know, all they say to this, you know, woman... Gosh, she's such a fucking bitch. You know, the stuff she says, the stuff, you know, she, she, you know, 
tells people, you know, so no one likes a person like that. Some people think they're, they're really cool, you know, they stick up for themselves, they get in people's faces, they tell them, say what, bitch? You want to go with me, bitch? Really? You're saying stuff to me, bitch? It's like, no, I was just, I was just, like, what do you mean, nah, nah, nah? Or you, you think, you know, you're telling me to be quiet, you're telling, no, no, I just thought that, you know, maybe we should talk about something. No, you don't fucking try and shut me up, okay, bitch? Sorry, 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 young woman, sorry. Oh, yeah, really? So now you're calling me young. I'm 25 years old, motherfucker. I'm not a fucking kid. What are you fucking... Anyway, everyone stays quiet. It's like, fucking hell, what's going on? Anyway, she's smiling. They smile. <laughs> you know, it's like everything Everything goes back to normal. As soon as she gets up, finishes her cigarette, finishes her coffee, and says bye, she hugs everyone, she kisses everyone... And as soon as she as she hugs that last person, oh, have a good one. It was nice meeting you. Yeah, yeah. As she walks off, and I've seen this happen. As soon as she walks off, that woman straight away, she immediately turns around to the whole crew and just says, what a fucking bitch. So, you know, there's no reason to go to people's face and say she Okay, as far as I'm concerned, there's no reason to do that anymore. It doesn't work, you know, anyway. It, it truly doesn't work. Not once have I gone to a confrontation with someone and, you know, and it's ended well. Not once. Okay, you can't get through to these people. There is another really good saying. And this saying goes like this. You can't put brains in monuments you cannot fucking get through to people no matter what if that's how they are that's how they are going to be unless they change on their own nobody can make them change they've got to change on their own and ladies and gentlemen i tell you what man from now on people can get fucked and they can enjoy getting fucked because I'm not going to pay any notice to them. I'm not going to go out of my way to hang out with them. I'll go out of my way not to hang out with them. Uh, but I'm, I'm not going to make any effort at all. And let them think they're your friend. The best way, someone said to me, you know, the best way, Johnny, to, to handle stuff like this, because I used to hate fucking being around dickheads you know, um, that we shared a few mutual friends, and i got no choice, i got to be around this fucking person, several of them, and uh, someone, you know, took me aside and said to me, Johnny, it's okay, he goes, the best way, the best way, the absolute best way to be able to deal with people like this is fuck them off. But let them think they're your friend. That way you win. You win. You get the best of both worlds. You don't get into a fight with them whatsoever. And they think, you know, they're friends with you. And you you fucked them off. You, you know, you don't give a shit about them. So you've won. You've won. And that's not being fake. That's not being fake. Well, if someone doesn't fucking like you, they have to tell you that they don't like you. Is someone forced to tell you that they don't like you? Isn't that a personal choice whether they want to tell you or not? How is that being fake? Ladies and gentlemen, it's almost been 20 minutes, so we're going to have to continue this another time. But tell me, how is that being fake? Just because someone has the right... Not to say anything to you because he just doesn't want to. He has the right whether to or not. And because he reserves the right not to say anything to you, he's been fake because he's not saying anything to you. He's been fake, is he? Or maybe he's been smart and he doesn't want to get into a fight with a madman, okay, that lacks logic, lacks maturity, okay, Oh no, but he's fake. He is fake, ladies and gentlemen, because he doesn't want to fight with a fucking maniac, with a fucking douchebag. Ladies and gentlemen, I've got to go. It's almost been 20 minutes. This has been Johnny K. Peace out.